Uh, here, yep. Here's a great question from Jay yep. Bias. Um, I, I saw that one too, and I was actually going to talk on okay. it. But go ahead. But go ahead if you have. Something yeah. To say. No. And I, I. Well, I want to hear your perspective because I, I had to learn this the hard way. The very this this is something that and 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 different producers approach this very differently. Um, I'm I'm like I said I learned the hard way, and so my opinion is is very um, strict. And I, I want to know your opinion because you've seen a lot more more producers try this out than I have. Yeah, I think I think. The, can you put the question actually back up, just so I can look at it as as context here? Um, I mean, I think the first question, the first thing I thought when I read that was like, "Why are you posting beats if they're not good?" Um, so I mean, I would then take a look in the mirror and say, "Why?" That shouldn't be a question, right? Like. If you're going to post these beats up to sell and you are trying to market them and they're not good, you're shooting yourself in the foot. So if you think they're not good and you can you can tell yourself that it might not be the right move to put them up or maybe it is to put them up. And I've told people to make playlists like not saying like this. You have to do this, but make a play or an album, excuse me, not a playlist where you can sell or yeah, play this too. And make like a make like a bin that's like if you're sell like MP3 releases for 30, make these joints 20, like almost have and then like promote it as like a not a bargain bin, but just like I don't know, like end of the year or something. I've seen people doing it before. There's a ton of stuff you could do, but in general, man, you you should really be focusing on all of your content. Um, there shouldn't be any questions between the good ones or the bad ones. It should be all of it. And then you let the ads and the data dictate to you and the interaction engagement dictate to you which ones you should maybe pay more attention to. I, the, the biggest mistake, and I have a feeling this is what Payne's going to say too, is that he picked the ones he thought were going to be the best ones. And come to find out, it's not. And if he had not have probably tested those, he probably would have never known that and just skipped over it and been like, this shit sucks. I'm not doing this anymore, which happens yeah. all the time. So. Well, I'm interpreting this question in, in a different way. I'm glad okay, you, cool. you brought up your perspective because I wouldn't have I wouldn't have even thought that. Um, but that is important because a lot of producers do approach uh, online beat leasing as just a place to throw in all their 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 throwaway beats, and that's really stupid because you're competing with someone who's hungry as ever and who is making their intent. You know, and I've thank God that that now we have data because I've interviewed a, a few people who are just putting their best beat. They don't even want placements. They're putting their best beats online. They've been doing that forever. They're making six figures a year and you're competing with them with throwaway beats. It's not going to, it's not going to work out for you. But with regard to this question, I interpreted it as, you know, the beats that you think are better than others. Are those the ones that you should run ads on? And for me and Mike already brought this up, I've uploaded beats that I thought weren't that great, and next thing you know, they have a hundred thousand plays, S and people love those over the beats that I thought were really amazing that I worked really hard on. So, I had to look at myself as a unreliable judge of my own music. Basically, I don't know shit because I'm not the one buying my beats; I'm the one mm -hmm. selling my beats. So, here's where Beat Stars comes in. And this is what I've been doing every time I run an ad. I go into my sales and um, I, I sort my list of beats by which ones have sold the most in the last six months. And I, I look at what the top five are. And those are the beats I advertise during that campaign period. Hmm. For me, it, it's like a cheat code because it's just really easy. It's, it's, you know, if they're already selling, why would I force people to, why would I spend money presenting the beats that people aren't buying to new people? I would want to, you know, if something's selling, if a product is selling, you want to promote that because that's, that's your hot item. Now, some of you might not have all of that, that data available for yourself because maybe you haven't sold that many beats. Um, and that's another thing that, I think beat stars can help with because if you are and not everyone wants to do this i i would encourage you to do it giving away the free tagged mp3 downloads because one you're collecting data and two you can also see which beats are being downloaded the most mm -hmm. so no matter what you're going to have data and you use those data to to lead you 
in your advertising.